As a new project and a way to increase my storage on the property, I decided to build a pallet shed. I bought some pellets off Craigslist, that way they were in good condition and were all matching. My two-year-old got to be with me for most of this project, and here's some video of him helping me unload everything. He was busy playing in his little hoop shed and looking at his toys while I was lifting all the heavy stuff. A few of the pallets had damage and a couple of missing slats, but otherwise were pretty solid. They had metal banding around the corners that helped them stay together. My initial thought was to join the pallets with pieces of hardware. Here's a quick overview of what I got from the hardware store, but I ended up going a different route, just using blocks of wood to attach everything. That way I could build it in a more temporary way since the plan ultimately is to move this shed down to my meadow. A couple of the metal corners were bent, requiring a little bit of hammering so they could sit flush with each other. Here's Davis helping out a little bit with the giant hammer. Some of the hardware brackets I bought were helpful in holding the thing together as I was assembling it since I really didn't have a second pair of hands but they ended up not being very strong. Even with a little bit of pressure, the metal plates would pull out, so I decided to come up with a different option. I used some scrap wood I had and cut out some small blocks that I would use to screw the pallets together. Although it added extra steps, replacing all those metal brackets with pieces of wood definitely strengthened the structure. I made sure to put the screws in with a little bit of wiggle room so that it's going to be easy to take the thing apart and move it in a few months. My initial plan for the roof was to use pallets and potentially hinges to connect them, but ultimately this idea didn't work. You can see in this clip I'm noodling around with how it might be done and it didn't end up working very well. The problem I ran into was the fact that the pallets were so heavy, I needed some bracing behind the structure to support the roof. I ultimately decided just to make some trusses and nail them together with extra pallet pieces I had lying around. This ended up being a much lighter weight solution and went up a lot faster. The roof was created with a piece of tarp I had lying around. Luckily it fit perfectly on the structure and I secured it with a couple of pieces of 550 cord. The finished project of the pallet shed seemed to work so well, I decided to recreate it on a small scale for Davis. He also seemed really interested in the project, so I figured it would make a fun playhouse for him. After experimenting with the orientation of the pallets several times, I found that when they're laid down a certain way, they link together almost perfectly, almost as if they're Lincoln logs. 
you can see in these pictures they come together nicely although I think it's a little bit hard for the viewer to tell what's going on. I secured the pallets together with a couple of 3 inch screws just to make sure they didn't slip. Davis seemed pretty happy with the final result. Unfortunately, a couple of the walls were missing slats, so decided to add some extra material I had lying around. Davis was more than happy to help, and the end product created little windows that he could look out of. After a tough day's work, Davis and I decided to hydrate a bit, and of course, he wanted to drink out of my container and not the cup I brought for him.